We are wobbly. My son is crying because I just put him down for a nap. So if you hear him, he's not in any pain. He's not in danger. He's just mad that he's down for a nap right now because he's crabby and he's had a day. Very busy day. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel today. I have better lighting, <laughs> first of all. I don't know if this is better or this is better, but let me know. So I'm just gonna keep it on both for now, warm and cool. Today I am doing another what's in my purse video, but mommy edition, because as you guys know, I'm a mom now and I didn't think it was gonna become part of my personality like that, but trust me, it has. I have a lot of things in my purse, obviously for my son. I also am kind of sick of carrying our diaper bag around especially if I choose to like go on a walk or go to Target with him really quick like I just don't want to carry the big huge diaper bag because I still want to carry a purse does that make me selfish as a mother hopefully not so if you guys want to see what is in my purse I recently just switched it this is literally from high school and I'm so happy I found it because I let my sister use it for a long time and then she moved and it was still in her room so took it back and my husband bought this for me when we first started dating years and years ago so this is my Ed Hardy love kill slowly purse you guys have never seen this I don't think or maybe in a video I love this bag I'm so happy that Ed Hardy's back in style because I always loved Ed Hardy even in high school so I'm so happy I still have this bag and I recently just switched everything into this one from my Marc Jacobs tote bag because I spilled water in that it wasn't my day the other day let's just jump right in if there's anything that moms you think I forgot or I should include definitely let me know but so so far, this is where we're at. This is my purse. You could still probably find this on Poshmark or eBay. I think husband got it from eBay, but she's been through the ringer. She's been through some stuff. The back looks like just says Ed Hardy, 7829 Melrose. Very cute, has like fraying of like jean material, which I absolutely love. Yeah, and it comes with a long strap as well, which I never used until now. On here, I just have my little, one of my Halloween clips. This is my Scream one. And then this frog with the witch hat for Halloween. And then as always, my little Hello Kitty keychain that I just love to put on everything. She just goes with it. I don't know, I just like it. This is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. I just took out my lip combo, so I will share that. I wore today, which was MAC Whirl Lip Liner and DLA lip oil in Pretty Privilege, which is what I'm wearing right now. My husband and I went to Hogan Cider Mill here in Connecticut and it was okay. It just, I kind of wish that we would have went with like some of our friends and it wasn't just us and it was just like a parent. We had like little parents stay out. Regardless, I still have all this stuff in my purse. <laughs> Are these little mittens <laughs> for my son? We actually got these in the hospital to prevent him from like scratching himself. Date, he still does that at three months. Mostly have kept these just to put on his hands for when it gets cold outside because they are nice and like, you know, cottony. Because it has been getting cold here in the mornings and I've still been doing uh, doing the walks, but I think that that's gonna change pretty soon. It's supposed to be getting the 30s overnight and I don't feel like taking him out in that. So your girl might be switching to indoor workouts. This is one of his little beanie hats. If you guys saw my Shein haul, I got for him a pack of three. This is actually still too big for his head. <laughs> but still cute so just a cute little white one his hat he has so many hats that came with so many outfits like I don't know how I'm gonna get him to wear all these but this little uh Mickey hat this does go with an outfit but I just have it in here in case he needs a hat dirty tissue as always because I'm always blowing my nose or always sneezing my touchland sanitizer berry bliss I have a couple diapers these are size two Huggies, my son kind of wears whatever. I'm very grateful and fortunate that he's not like allergic to anything really, but I still buy everything sensitive just because we're asked, I'm mostly asked for my baby shower for everything, all the diapers, all the wipes to just be sensitive because you never know. I kind of have sensitive skin. My husband kind of does too. So it just worked that way. Maxi pad for me because we are getting our cycle every month, ladies. <laughs> Tissues, as always, I always buy these Target, wherever. A whole pack of Pampers sensitive wipes oh this was supposed to go in my pocket but i have eye drops for me i had to use these today because i'm always sneezing at my mom's house and i thought my allergies went away when i was pregnant and i wasn't gonna have them again i'm allergic to pet dander and dust and pollen and you know your average whatever but i don't know my allergies are back in full force every time i go to my mom's now i'm dying we love that and in face wipes i mostly got these for my son but also for my husband as well when we go out they're not antibacterial, but I think this is just better for him to, to wipe his face and stuff. Like sometimes he drools and he spits up and just like gets gross. And then I think that's why he gets a lot of baby acne, which I can't stand. Straw wrapper, very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. I have my little personal fan in here because I don't care for everyone that's ever made fun of me for this the last couple years at work. This, I need this now more than ever postpartum. Oh my gosh. 
and our little stroller fan came in handy when I was when I was in labor too so and even after so I have that in there mostly for me so I have my little Louis Vuitton makeup case just a lot of random stuff I have a drink sleeve shout out to Danny for that face mask this is blocked because you never know an extra cord for one of my charger packs some tylenol a tie to go pen tums I have some flossers for my teeth some mints from when i was pregnant and get nauseous all the time well i didn't really get nauseous but sometimes i would a little mini urban decay all-nighter spray i don't know so so far that's what's in here this might change though because i ended up taking a lot of stuff out some other things we have liquid iv i actually almost returned these because i was like i'm not using these after my pregnancy and postpartum like why do i need this but now and I keep saying as a mom but it's true like I don't drink as much water as I used to and the only time I seem to be hydrated is when I have hydration in my teas from Venus so I decided to just keep these and I have one of these a day when I don't have my tea from Venus and unfortunately there's 11 grams of sugar in here so we're gonna have to get the sugar-free one but once I'm done with these love them they really do help me to not snack so much because I've just been snacking a lot postpartum and along with not buying all the snacks but this has really been helping a lot to curb my appetite and keep me hydrated promoting that but just for me personally that's what's been helping so I have one in my purse in case I'm out and I need water and hydration you have these up and up immune basically comparable to emergency packets raspberry flavor and i really love these you just put them in your drink and you drink it i don't like the ones that you put in your mouth like that you just toss back in your mouth i don't like those i'd rather just drink these so that's what i have with me all the caviar suction mostly for when i do videos like this but sometimes it doesn't hold my phone my phone falls down maybe it's because the mirror is dirty I got this hot pink one and i really like it and i love again that it's magnetic so it goes right on the back of my phone and then i have this little charger r.i.p to my other charger as i told you guys at the beginning of this video and i'm sorry if i'm talking a lot i'm just like really hyped right now as i told you guys at the beginning of this video i unfortunately spilled water in my purse and ruined one of my battery packs so we had to get rid of that it was unsavable would not work this is my other one which matches one of my favorite phone cases ever little doggies and cats and butterflies and hearts and everything which is adorable and that reminds me of Callie my mom's dog I just love the phone case I have so I bought the matching battery pack this one was originally for my work bag but this is now in here in case I need it because I'm hyped I had her like a really good day like a really really good day that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, next we have a receipt from Dunkin' because we just stopped there on the way home. My little loyalty card from Venus. I have my credit cards that I meant to put back in my little wallet because my husband forgot his wallet in his work truck. So you're using mine. I have like all my insurance and stuff in here. This little wallet is from Pila Case. I love. It is just I just really like how it feels. It feels really nice and sleek. It's made of recycled materials, all the fun stuff. Yes, they did send this to me for free and I'm very appreciative, very grateful for it. I just love that this is like recycled and it's pink and it's cute and it's sleek and it holds everything. Gift cards in here I haven't used, like vanilla gift cards. Does anyone use those anymore? Like I have $50 on one and I, the one time I try to use it, it wouldn't work. So help cash this actually has to go not in my purse <laughs> a pack of gum my sweet mint from orbit i ruined my cinnamon gum i'm so upset about it it got ruined i'm very sad but that's all right and as for the rest of everything in here and my little mini deodorant from native because i stink all the time now postpartum i don't know why hormones i guess but on the positive note my armpits are not as dark as they were in my pregnancy i don't know why that happened it was very weird i have this little perfume this is the 11 11 lake and sky oh i actually really love the smell of this a lot it smells like a perfume i used to have but she's in here in case i need it i have a pen of this high school hello i bought these on amazon it's just a little brush mirror combo it's just a lot easier for me than to just have like a separate brush and mirror and literally if i need to brush my hair i could just take this out and use it and see with the mirror check myself okay, and the last things in here of course all of my <laughs> lip products oh wait this is not though i have some nyx brow glue just in case my brows like get on un unglued i don't know i don't know what's up with that oh and i also have some hair clips from today for my hair because i did straighten it before we left as far as <laughs> lip products i have a summer fridays pink sugar lip balm victoria's secret candy baby gloss tower 28 watermelon kiwi tinted lip balm laneige peppermint lip balm love they have candy cane out this year which i feel like it's the same thing but highly recommend if your lips get dry and burn and crack favorite dla lip oil in ceo which is almost done that being said 
that is everything that is in my purse, my mommy bag, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been meaning, I filmed this like three times already and then this time I was like, you know what? This is it, this is it because I love this bag so much and I'm so sad that I haven't used it for this long. So now we are gonna use her for like the next few weeks or so until my birthday. I low key wanna switch my bag <laughs> again. For now, like it's just giving very Halloween-esque, like very, you know, like I just love it. I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so you know when the f I post a new video, which I'm still keeping up with my schedule for the most part. For the most part, someone can argue with me in the comments, but I'm doing the best I can. And honestly, this is one of the things that's actually keeping me going. So thank you guys for sticking around. And also, if you have not checked out my podcast, I have a podcast. Yeah, like who am I? Hi. Um, it's just me and it's just on Spotify. So if you want to take a listen, link is in the description. It's called Who Let Me Do This? Because honestly, who let me do anything that I've done in my life and make the mistakes I've made? I think I'm definitely going to do an episode on being with a narcissistic partner and how that like ruined me which if you guys already have watched my videos about the toxic person from the past and as well as a toxic relationship ruined me that video I will uh yeah we're gonna just really get into the nitty-gritty of it because um yeah it's time anyways I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video Thank you.